Hi, I'm Katie from Hearts Content Farmhouse, and today I'm sharing a really fun, really kid-friendly recipe for chocolate chip whoopie pies. So this recipe is something that my kids love. They love to help make them, and they love to eat them. Um, this is made by special request. We'd always just done the plain chocolate, but they asked for a chocolate chip version, so I went ahead and made them. And they're really simple. Um, basically, what you do is make a cake batter and bake flat little cookie shaped cakes and then you make a marshmallow cream filling and then you put it all together. It's really cute looking, it's really fun, but it's not complicated to make. So we are gonna go ahead and make the cakes. We are gonna start with two cups of flour, a teaspoon of baking soda, half a teaspoon of salt, one stick of softened butter, a cup of light brown sugar, one egg, a teaspoon of milk, I'm sorry, a teaspoon of vanilla, and three quarters of a cup of milk. This is just your basic method of baking a cake. You cream the butter and sugar together, you mix your dry ingredients up separately, add the egg to your butter and sugar, and then you alternately add your dry ingredients and your milk beginning and ending with your dry ingredients. This is how almost every cake recipe in the world goes. This is gonna look a little bit thicker than an average cake batter. Not by much, it's mostly gonna look like a cake batter. It's not gonna look like cookie batter at all. And then we're gonna go ahead and bake them. Um, so preheat your oven to 350. We're gonna need two sheets of this. So go ahead and put two racks in, in the middle, lower middle and upper middle. Does that make sense? And um, use parchment for those, they are pretty sticky. So parchment on your baking sheets and then drop them on to the parchment. Um, what you're gonna do is, get, what I always do is do a quarter cup um, scoop and use that to pour them on. Give them space in between, they're gonna spread out, um, but if you just space them evenly on two cookie sheets, it's gonna work out just right. You're gonna have a total of 12 of these because you're gonna have six big sandwiches. Another thing you could do is make mini ones and do um, a little bit less and do a little bit less volume on each, um, but you would wanna get a third cookie sheet for that because they're gonna need room in between all of them and there's more of them, so you need more space. Bake these at 350 for 15 to 18 minutes. Um, you want the edges to be a little bit browned, but they're still gonna be soft. It's a cake, so you're gonna, it, they're still gonna be soft. When you touch them, they're gonna spring back, but they are still gonna be very soft to the touch. Go ahead and let them cool on a cooling rack and they have to cool completely before you do the filling or it's gonna be runny and messy. So just set those aside, let them cool and then you can get to work on your filling. For your filling, you need one and a half sticks of butter. Um, I use unsalted for this. You can use salted and then just leave out the salt that you're gonna add later. So one and a half sticks of butter, make sure it is softened. It's gonna be way too difficult to work with if it's not. Um, so soften butter and one and a quarter cups of powdered sugar. You blend those together with your mixer and then you add vanilla, which is one and a half teaspoons and then an eighth of a teaspoon of salt, which you're gonna leave out if you're using salted butter and two and a half cups of marshmallow cream. Um, marshmallow cream is comes in a big jar. It's in the baking section of the grocery store. Um, the most common brand is Marshmallow Fluff. That's the only one I can find. That's the one I always use and it's good. Consistency of the filling is really important. If it's too runny and thin, it's gonna just come off the cakes and it's gonna be really messy. So if it, what I do is once the cakes are cool, I sort of do a test one. And if it's not holding its shape well, I put it back in the fridge for about 15 minutes. Um, and if it's so thick that it's not spreadable, you can microwave it on low for just a few seconds, but more often than not, it's gonna be too thin and it's gonna need a little bit of chilling time. So you just assemble them by putting about a third of a cup of the cream filling on each. You're gonna, you're gonna use all of the filling, which is good. You don't wanna have any leftover. Um, and then once they're done, you can refrigerate them and that's gonna help them keep their shape better. Um, but they're very portable. Kids love them. They're super fun. They are really sweet, so they're more popular with kids than adults, but I do like them. Um, so this is a really fun recipe for a birthday, for a special occasion. Uh, I hope you like it, and thank you for watching.